Thomas, Sherry Crooks, Cynthia Jarrett, Sarah Reed. Black women are invisible in our struggle and it's our duty to raise them up as the foremost victims of racism. And that's why today we've been marching with the Black Lives Matter block on this demonstration. Next year, God willing, we'll put 10,000 black people on the street to strengthen this demonstration. But in the meantime, I take great joy in the uh, uh, comradeship and anti-racist solidarity that we've seen today. And if I can just ask you to say Black Lives Matter. Whose lives matter? Black lives matter. And now, you, if you want London to hear what we've got to say, right, you've got to be, you got to be a bit more forceful. I know there's some white people feeling a bit not quite sure where they should say it. Let me tell you that the human race was born in Africa, so by dint of your association, I'm deeming you all Africans for the purposes of this chant. <laughs> Whose lives matter? Black lives matter. Who lives matter? Black lives matter. Who lives matter? Black lives matter. Give me one more. <laughs> and I've made it my home and I'm proud 
after being adopted Londoner. A few days ago I was in the Calais refugee camp. I was sitting in a shack, a rudimentary shack, surrounded by men who'd sewn their mouths together who were on hunger strike. These are called a bunch of migrants. People, are, people think they're economic migrants. One of them was a former commando in the Syrian, in the Iranian army who refused to go to Syria and fight for Bashar al-Assad. He didn't want to come to Britain because he thought he'd get better pay in the British army because he didn't want to kill innocent Syrian men, women and children. Another of the three men were Christians. They'd been tortured for apostasy, for converting. They didn't want to come here to get their fingers in our church collection plates. They wanted to come here for justice and freedom. Maybe there are people who, you know, who aren't really refugees in the camp. Maybe they're just war intolerant. I don't know. I met Darfuris. I met Saudi Bedouins. I met Afghans. I met Kurds. I met Syrians. I met people of all colours and all religions. And most of them hoping to come here. Do you know what? We should be proud that they want to come here. And I didn't know whether to tell them you'd be very welcome here or whether to say, do you know what, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Don't read the Daily Express because the lives of refugees is not a paradise here. You'll be sent with no money to live in Middlesbrough so that poor people in Middlesbrough will resent you. You'll be made a scapegoat and a target and you'll be blamed for the country's problems. But still, I would like those people to be able to come here and people say, why don't they stay in France? Our government has given millions to the French to give to spend on razor wire and to give to the CRS. The CRS are the heavily armed French riot police who circle the camp, who strut around with tear gas and with firearms and then when refugees walk off the camp and get their heads kicked in by the Front National, they are not protected by the police. So don't ask why don't they want to stay in France. They're scared. When the French offer them something, they show them a map and they point to eastern France and say, yeah, right, and say, why don't you go and live there? And here they go, nobody, they've got no connections. There are people with family here who have a legal right to be here and are not being allowed. And I will say one more thing. People say white people are in danger of becoming a minority in London. Well, I'm telling you, I am one of the whitest people I have ever met in my life. I've done my family tree. I thought this will be interesting. It fucking wasn't. 200 years of white people from the southeast of England. But you are my brothers and sisters. These people are my brothers and sisters. I have no more claim to this soil than anybody here. Hitler before the Second World War on fighting anti-Semitism. 
patriotism. We have always done it. We will continue to do it. And finally, let me say this. One of the things I find so distasteful about the negative propaganda about refugees is that without refugees and migrants, London could not be the great city it is today. And yet, media and right-wing politicians choose to ignore the contributions of refugees and migrants, like my own mother, who emigrated here in the 50s as part of that generation that helped build the National Health Service. Far from immigrants being a drain on the health service, without decades of migration, we wouldn't have a health service. And let me finally say this, it is a privilege to serve as Shadow Secretary of State for International Development under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn. Support the refugees. Thank you, friends, comrades, Javier.